and today we're so excited because we're going to teach you how to sew. So when you're learning to sew, it's so much fun. I started teaching Paris to sew when she was four years old. And when you know how to sew, you can make all kinds of things. You can make like a reading pillow, which is fun to sit on and store your books when you're not using it. You can make uh, soft dolls, which are really fun to make, or sometimes they get into mischief like these gals over here. Elsa, get down from there, please. Thank you, darling. They're misbehaving. You can also make doll clothes for like an 18 inch doll, like Chrissy. Chrissy has on a dress that was made. She's also got two skirts down here that were made. You can also make little plushies, like this little guy down here. See him down there? You can make teddy bears and plushies and just all kinds of fun, fun stuff. Emoji type pillows, lots of fun. All kinds of things you can do when you know how to sew. Before you get into making all of that amazing fun stuff, you gotta know some of the basics. You gotta know the basics of the sewing machine. And so over the next few weeks, the next few months, Paris and I are going to teach you guys how to make all kinds of super fun projects for summer. The first thing we've got to deal with is the basics of the sewing machine. We're going to teach you sewing machine anatomy. So grab your sewing machine, put it in front of you, and you know what? You can get mom or dad too. Have them come sit with you so they can learn how to sew too if they don't know how to sew already. So grab your parents if you like and grab your sewing machine, put it in front of you and let's teach you how to sew. Okay, so we're gonna get up close and personal with our sewing machine. We're gonna learn all, of, all about it. So your machine should be facing you just like this. I'm gonna focus on the Burnett series because this is what my 12 year old daughter Paris uses. And it's a super uh, kid-friendly sewing machine. The Burnett series, everything in the Burnett line is a super uh, kid-friendly machine. So I'm gonna focus on this machine here. Now, my machine is computerized. I have this screen here, and so that tells me that it's computerized. Your machine might be computerized or it might be mechanical. If it's mechanical, you're going to have a bunch of big knobs, maybe a big knob here, a big knob here, or a big knob here and a big knob here that you can turn to get to your stitches and to make your machine uh, do what you want it to do. Okay. Doesn't matter what you have mechanical or computerized. Okay. Uh, the computerized just has a few more bells and whistles than the mechanical. All right. So now let's look at the right side of our machine on the right hand side of our machine we find this really big knob here right here okay this is our hand wheel this is how we can make our needle move up and down and you'll notice if you look right there my needle moves up and down as i turn that uh that hand wheel okay so that's our hand wheel uh, this here is going to be where we lay our fabric and on my machine when I turn the machine on all of my stitches will pop up right here on this screen and I can go to the stitch that I want to go to your machine might have a screen where you too can push a button to get to the stitches that you want or you're going to turn a knob it's important that you sit with mom or dad and look at your machine's manual to determine exactly how to uh, get to the stitches on your machine. Okay, how to switch between the stitches. Mine will be right here, that's our stitch selector. Okay, everybody take your hand and go right inside the machine and you're gonna look for a little knob that sits right here or maybe in the back of the machine. That's your presser foot lifter. It raises and lowers your presser foot. Let's look a little bit closer at that. Okay, now depending on your machine, you're gonna have a knob that sits right here or right back here, and that is your presser foot lever. You would take your right hand, put it right inside your machine, feel for this knob, grab it, lift it up or lift it down, either right here or right here, and it will raise and lower the presser foot here. On the Burnett, on this machine here, I raise and lower the presser foot with this button. So when I push this button, presser foot lowers, push it again, 
and it raises. See that? That's how I raise and lower my presser foot. Okay, you may have a knob here or you may have a button like I do. Either way, that is how you raise and lower your presser foot. This here is the presser foot. So this knob here is how I raise and lower the presser foot. This foot here is the presser foot. It's the little metal foot that sits at the end of your um, shank here and it holds your fabric in place so that you can sew, okay? This is the presser foot, all right? This is what we're gonna use to hold our fabric. Underneath the presser foot, we find our feed dogs. Let's look a little closer at them. So these little jagged teeth right underneath the presser foot here, these are our feed dogs. This is what pulls our fabric through the machine. So when you're sewing, you never have to pull or push your fabric. These little jagged teeth here, the feed dogs will do it for us. This area here is where our bobbin sits. This is our bobbin case. So our bobbin case for the Burnett series sits right here on the top. You might have a bobbin that sits on the top of the machine or it might sit down in front of the machine down here. Front loading bobbin, depending on your machine, okay? On my Bernina over here, my bobbin sits right up front in this little compartment here. Right down in that little compartment there is where my bobbin sits. But over here on this machine, the bobbin sits right up top. So your machine might have a top loading bobbin or a front loading bobbin, just depends on the brand of machine that you're using, whether you've got a Burnett or a Bernina or any other uh, model. So this is our bobbin. Our bobbin holds our bottom thread. When you're sewing, you're sewing with two different types of thread, top thread and the bottom thread. This is where our bottom thread sits right down here in this bobbin case here our bobbin sits right down there and allows us to sew simply drop it in we follow our thread guides cut our thread and put our little window back on and we're ready to go again it depends on your machine you have to look at your manual to determine exactly how to put your bobbin in your machine but this area here is our bobbin case up top here is where our top thread sits and our bobbin winder. So our top thread sits up here, okay? Our bottom thread sits down here in our bobbin case. And in order for us to sew or fill our bobbin, we have to wind it. This here is our bobbin winder. This is how we get the top thread onto our bobbin so that we can put it down in the bobbin case. And again, your manual is gonna tell you exactly how to do it for the machine that you are working on, okay? But overall, this is our bobbin winder. This is where our top thread sits right here on our spool pin. You might have a vertical spool pin that stands up and down. Mine is horizontal, yours might be vertical. Okay, but this is our spool pin and then these little lines down here. This is our thread guide. This is how we thread the machine so that we can get down here and thread our needle. Again, your manual is going to tell you exactly how to thread your specific machine. Okay. Cause each machine is slightly different. Even though this is the same company here, this machine threads a little bit differently than this machine. It operates a little bit differently than this machine, okay? This Burnett series is really kid-friendly. And so it's just a little bit different than um, my Bernina over here, all right? But these are the thread guides, and it is how we take our thread from our spool, thread it on down, get it into the needle, okay? And prepare ourselves to be able to sew. And this bobbin winder is how we fill our bobbin so that we are able to sew, okay? That's the overall basics of the sewing machine. You really just need to know where your hand crank is or your hand wheel. You need to know how to wind your bobbin with your bobbin winder, which is here, how to insert your spool of thread, how to thread your machine through your thread guides there, 
okay? How to raise and lower your presser foot, whether you are using a button or the lever itself to raise and lower it. Um, your bobbin case, whether it's here or here and um, how to wind your bobbin and insert it as well. That's basics of the sewing machine, the absolute basics, the fundamentals that you're gonna need to have some fun with us sewing in the upcoming weeks. So what I want you to do is to sit with mom or dad with your machine in front of you and your manual and allow them to teach you how to thread your machine, okay? How to wind your bobbin, use your bobbin winder, wind your bobbin, insert that bobbin, okay? And then start preparing to make some basic straight stitches. And you see my machine here is already on a straight stitch. In our next video, we'll do just that. We'll look at how easy it is to make some straight stitches.